The next thing is we need to let go of some baggage, okay? That we have many of us, oh my gosh, our, I think that's the reason why some of us are kind of hunchback right now, not because we're, you know, 50 plus, but it's because we're holding on to so much baggage, okay? What do I mean? Listen, this is how you can let go of some of that, that baggage, preconceptions, all right? I remember all my life that my parents passed away, okay, about four or five years ago. My mom always said, oh, Oscar, he's so reserved, just like his uncle Roberto. Yes, reserved. That means I'm quiet. Growing up, okay, so there's that kind of that weight, that baggage, okay. Oh, Oscar is this. Oh, Oscar, how come you speak English with an accent? Oh, Oscar, maybe you got into Berkeley because of affirmative action. Oh, Oscar, you're not a good writer. Oh, Oscar, you're an introvert, you're so quiet. You know what, I finally got to the conclusion, I'm like, beat it, all of you, including my family. And here's a sad, sad thing, some of the, 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 the biggest critics are gonna be here those people that are closest to us. You gotta get rid of those preconceived uh, uh, notions that you have, folks. Next, always be learning, okay? Some of you, I, I saw there's a, quite a number of you that are either students or in academia, and you are prolific readers because you have to because of your job. But in this case, what I'm talking about is always be learning in terms of that personal growth and development, okay? I listen to audiobooks. Why? Because regular books, I fall asleep, okay? And, and over the last three and a half, four years, I've listened to like 70 plus audiobooks. I've listened to more audiobooks than some college professors read probably in their entire career, all right, of books. Also, your association, it is super critical. As a parent, growing up, even to this day, I am careful and I want to know who my kids are hanging out with, right? When our kids are little, hey, son, you know, no, you know what? You are not going to be hanging out with little Johnny over there, okay? Little Pedrito, okay? Because he's a troublemaker. You know, I don't know. You know what? It makes sense. But when does this principle change? When we become an adult? Some of us, like, need to, like, stop hanging out, going to cheese muscles out there, the gossipers, right? Like, again, be it. Listen, I am very, I know a ton of people, okay? But I'm also very careful who I let into my sphere of influence because I don't want to catch your emotional cold. And then lastly, your self-talk. We talk to ourselves tremendously. Most of the time, it's a negative self-talk, all right? And, and it's negative. We don't even realize it, that it's negative, okay? The way we write sometimes, you know, if you're sending out an email to someone, hey, I, um, can I ask you, would you be willing? Be willing, what? Be willing. Hey, Mary, appreciate your help. Let me know if you can help me out with this. You're willing, you know, it's, it's some of that subtle language where we're like constantly asking for permission. Here's where.